Welcome back to the to the to, to the 2024 NCAA softball selection show special. In their 18th consecutive NCAA tournament, they will open up against the Tigers of Jackson State, the SWAT champs who steal more bases wow, than LSU. Other team in America, led by Jace Jackson. Jackson State also, State University. headed to the Baton Rouge Regional, the like LSU Tigers of Tigers versus Southern Jackson State. Illinois, Maddie Groff, their lefty State. freshman, spectacular in the circle. Mm. And they too are jumping for joy out of the Missouri Valley. They will start play Friday afternoon on ESPN Plus against the Cal Bears. There's another former national oh, champ. California Bears. California Cal Golden Bears. In their 35th NCAA tournament, Jess. And it starts with the nine seed, LSU. It does. And we're talking about LSU. You know what we're going to talk about some outfield defense. They showed off at the SEC tournament. All kinds of plays they were making. They are led by their pitching, though. Sidney Berzon and Kelly Lynch. Sidney, in fact, went 14 innings pitched, 208 pitches. That was one game. And Taylor Pleasance, you mentioned it. The senior-led team, her bat got going two game-winning hits in that tournament. She hit 375. Double elimination format, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those are the folks in the Baton Rouge Regional. Back over to the right side of your bracket, filling it in at home. How about the Durham Regional and the Duke Blue Devils? They get a 10 seed after sweeping the ACC regular season and postseason tournament. With an outstanding pitching staff, they are looking to get to the World Series for the first time in school history with their player of the year, Claire Davidson. They will start Friday afternoon on ESPN Plus against the Bears of Morgan State, the MEAC champs with Victoria Fletcher and Amber Rivas. So the Bears going to Durham. So are the Utes of Utah. Out of the Pac-12, they reach the finals again this year in the postseason tournament. They were at the World Series a year ago, led by pitcher, uh, pitcher Mariah Lopez. And for the Utes, Friday noon Eastern will be an early start for them on the U against the Gamecocks of South Carolina. Yeah. On at large. South Carolina Gamecocks versus with Utah. Elena Utes. The Gamecocks will be battle tested out of the Southeastern Conference, Amanda, as they head to Duke to see the Blue Devils. And this Duke team is really well balanced. When you look at their stats, they can hit, they can pitch, and they can defend. They're up at the tops and national ranks in all of those categories. But Jayla Wright and Cassidy Ferg, another one of those best one-two punches that you can talk about. And the season that Claire Davidson has put together, you mentioned the ACC Player of the Year. 61 RBI, 17 home runs, hitting over 400. There is a look at your Durham Regional with Duke the 10 seed. How about the 11 seed and a team that puts dogs into Bulldogs? We're going to Georgia. Yeah, Georgia Bulldogs, my first famous team in Athens, Athens Regional. Georgia, an at-large out of the SEC looking for a sixth trip to the Women's College World Series Top 10 in the nation. Let's see who also going to Athens Regional in Athens, Georgia. At 5 30 p.m. again. Against the Seahawks of UNC. Against, against the UNC Wilmington the Seahawks. Seahawks are dancing for the second time. A seventh inning comeback win in the final. Their MVP, Kara Hammock, in the circle. Also going to Athens. Reminder men's college lacrosse. Liberty Flames. Liberty Flames. Wow, the fifth against Charlotte Forty Niners. Wow. And 